Am I live? Is it working? I can never tell. I can never tell if it's working. Let's see. If I if I go onto my uh, there it is. I can never tell if it's working. I always have to check myself. How better check yourself? So uh, as you know, one of my favorite channels to watch is the Car Wizard, and the Car Wizard uh, comes to us originally as uh, sort of a you know a feature that was on the Hoovy's Garage. Tyler Hoover, shout out to Tyler. Hi, buddy. Um, and you know, so the car wizard was, is Tyler's mechanic. He's also on a TV show called car issues and he's been featured on a lot of other things. And there's, there's sort of an automotive YouTube family, you know, and I'm barely at the bottom of it. Uh, but you know, you have uh Hoovy, you have Tavarish, you have Ed Bolian with Vin Wiki stories, our buddy, Rob Pitts, um, Arnie Tolman, uh, of course, we all love Travis Bell. He's he's one of our buddies. So, uh, but me and Car Wizard, we talk every day. Uh, matter of fact, I gotta say, Wizard is kind of um, needy. Like he will send me a message, and if I don't respond quickly, he gets bent out of shape like a like a like a, a new girlfriend. Uh, I've been busy, David. <laughs> he sent me a package today. He said to expect a package, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna check it out. And uh, see what he see what the wizard sent. Let's see. Okay, let's start with this. We've got ourselves some uh, beef and cheese, and I will eat this very quickly because I am starving. I haven't eaten all day long. I sent him a package recently, and if he wants to talk about the stuff I sent him, he can. But I, I, I threw some sugar-free candy in there because we've been talking about our weight. and Because, <laughs> you know, we're big guys. Oh, look, we've got some promotional items. We've got some Omega Car Clinic. Ome Omega, Omega Auto Clinic. Newton, Kansas. Thank you. You know what? These, these are um, also, you know what these are? These are what you call, um, it's a stylus. You can touch your phone with. That's very cool. Okay, those will go right in the trash. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> are these Mont Blanc? No, they're not. No, those will come in handy. Okay. All right. Now here we go. Let's see what he sent me. MCM. That's a pretty high-end brand. Um, and well, you know this belt that I wear. You guys have seen me wear my belt. I know it's not a belt. I should just use my, my knife. Hold on a sec. So you guys know I wear this belt. I always wear a red belt. This is uh, there we go. I always tell people, <clears throat> I tell people that the M is for Mosley, but um, it's, it's for MCM, it's a brand. Okay, here we go. We got a nice, I'll show you the box just again. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's a billfold. Do people stay, still say billfold? Let's see. Okay, look at that. It's a red and black MCM pebbled leather uh, little billfold with credit card slots in it and stuff. Let's see here. Yeah. Oh, there's a little, little card in here. Let's see what we have. It's just like some little how to care for your wallet. Like I need this. <laughs> you know, actually, uh, at first I, 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 uh, I was like, you know, look, I have, you know, you guys know I have the chain wallet and now this wallet, uh, was made handmade in Thailand, Thailand. And uh, it's made out of shark skin and stingray. See, this wallet was, it wasn't cheap. Um, but, you know, and it's got a silk lining. Let me make sure you can't see anything in here. I know you crafty effers will be screenshot and stuff. Yeah, you can't see anything. Okay. So uh, you have the silk lining and um, the office is not... <laughs> 
<laughs> organized. I just keep piling shit in here. <laughs> it's a mess. But anyway, you know, uh, this wall is kind of big. And um, anyway, here's the thing about this wallet. is it's, This is my wallet that I normally carry with me. But look how thick this thing is. Now, sometimes I go to... I, I will use this, this wallet, and I'll tell you when and where I'll use this. Is... Um, like, for instance, tonight I'm going to a, a show. Now, the show I'm going to is kind of a, like a biker bar. But um, sometimes, like, I'm going to see David Lee Roth on the 1st on New Year's Day, and there's all sorts of restrictions at Mandalay Bay at the House of Blues. I'll be there. Uh, even though we have VIP, we've been told, you know, you have to have your COVID test or you have to have Vax card. I uh, can't have any kind of weapons, can't have any kind of chain. Last time I went there, the the they gave me all kinds of shit about the chain on my wallet. And I did an entire video on this chain. You know, this chain is, uh, I got it from the Great Frogger of London. It was like $1,700 chain, these little skulls. And it's like, when have you ever seen somebody get their ass kicked from the chain on a wallet? Like, the answer is never, okay? So, but the thing is, is sometimes I need to go out to a show and I need to have a wallet that, um, you know, I can take with me. I wonder if that is big enough to hold the card, my, my, the stupid. You know, they didn't really think things out when they made the stupid Vax card because they should have made it like the size of a credit card so you can fit it into stuff. Let me see if it'll fit in here. It, it does, just barely. Yeah, it fits. So perfect. The thing is, like, when I went to New York City, um, you cannot go in anywhere without this thing. You can't go into the theater. You can't go into the restaurant. I know. We could talk about the politics of it. I don't agree with it. I absolutely do not agree with it. But, God damn it, I'm going to go see David Lee Roth, and I'm going to go to the movies, and I'm going to go out to eat, and uh, what, what am I going to do? What do you know? I, so I don't want to get into the argument of the politics of it. I disagree with it. I don't want to do it. But I also don't want to sit at home. I like to go do stuff. So... Uh, this will be my going out to special events wallet. Thank you so much, David Car Wizard. And uh, I could put my favorite credit cards in there, my uh, American Express Platinum and my license and my little Vaxi card. And then I carry my cash in my pocket. Never put your money, your cash cash in your wallet. You know, don't do that. That's dumb. Don't do that. Uh, I, you always want to have... It's just a gangster thing that I'll never get over. You always want to have a wad in your pocket with a money clip and organize your money. And I, I like Stingray. So this is a uh, Stingray clip that I use. So, you know, let me check the stash. See, I'm running a little low, so I'm going to go out tonight. So... You gotta replenish. I need a, maybe a couple more hundred dollar bills. And then, uh, let's see. I got plenty of 20s. So yeah, you wanna have walking around cash. I go to the bank and I'll get like a thing of ones and a thing of twos. And that way, before you go out, you have some money. So you don't have to go to the ATM and always carry cash. And uh, let me see, what are we doing tonight? Could do that. You know. Oh, yeah, I carry cash, but I'm from Texas, so. Okay. All right. Go with the Beretta. Am I worried about carrying cash? Not at all. Not at all, my friend. That's my chode. That's my little one. <laughs> Fuck around and find out. Let's go, Brandon. All right, thank you so much, Car Wizard, for the uh, <laughs> for the super nice. This now listen. I know how much, this belt was like three, four hundred bucks. So this thing had to be not cheap. I suspect that uh, either he saw this and goes, oh, that's great, that's, I'm gonna buy that for Video Bob, or he bought a whole bunch of stuff at MCM and this was a Christmas gift as part of a package if you buy like 500 or more. Because <laughs> they do that at Robert Graham. 
And if you get a present from Robert Graham from me, that was a bonus they gave me because I bought too many shirts. All right, I got to go get dressed. <laughs> Let's check out my other presents. Let's see. Oh, I got, oh, I got, uh, got a Christmas card here with a, this isn't from Car Wizard. They got me a $50 American Express and a $25 Amazon. That's going to come in handy here in a minute. My wife bought me some doilies for when I drink tea. She thought that was fine. Because I always said I love when I go to the English place and they put the tea in a little doily or like on a little tea service. I have another kind of a gift thing that a guy sent me that I really need to do a video on, but I hadn't had a chance to. So Alex, I haven't forgotten you, but got some great DeLorean stuff. I can't sit here all day long, guys. Uh, I'm about to go out and see uh, my good friends from the band Kiss, Bruce Kulick and Eric Singer performing with the Bruce Kulick Band at Count's Vamped here in Las Vegas. If you here, live here in Las Vegas, you want to meet me tonight, I'll be there in the VIP. Uh, come see half of 90s Kiss uh, doing some great tunes, and um, it'll be fun. I'm going to go get dressed up. It is 7 o'clock. I think the show, I think Eric told me that the show is at 9.30. So let's have a look. What did, what did he say? You know, Eric sent me, uh, he says on stage at 9.30, uh, Eric Singer is a good friend of mine, and he sent me a Christmas ornament. I told him, I said, you know, I've got a Christmas tree. And um, I need, I said, I've got ornaments, kiss ornaments, but there's no, I don't have a kiss ornament that has you on it. <laughs> there's no cat Christmas ornament. Or, you know, Peter Chris or Eric Singer, whoever you want to pick, but... The bottom line is that they don't have one, and so he sent me a Christmas ornament, and it doesn't have him on it. And I was like, "Dude, I'm not. You know, I can't look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm not complaining, but I wanted a Christmas ornament that had the cat on it, <laughs> and it's got the other three dudes. <sighs> anyway." Uh, I haven't read your comments. Uh, say hi to the count. I will. Let's see. Going to get dressed up, walks out looking exact same. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to throw a shirt on maybe. I might put on a, uh, uh, like one of my Robert Graham shirts. That's what I usually do. Um, let's see. Never keep your funds in a crypt. I don't know what that means. Um, let's see. I agree with you. Guns are racist. Um, let's see. Uh, Bob, you're broke. I am. I'm getting very, very uh, broker by the minute. ATMs here dispense hundreds. I, I noticed that here in Vegas, like you go and you'll get like 500 bucks out of the ATM and it'll throw you like a couple hundred dollar bills and a couple of fifties. You're like, what the hell is this? It pisses me off. You got to make sure and, um, you know, select the bills you want. Uh, with my account, I can get up to $3,000 per transaction at an ATM and then it'll give me all hundred dollar bills if I want but I'm a baller. So what is this? Uh, something about Germany something. What are you talking about? This guy? Oh, okay. We were talking about the Vax cards. Well, it's true. You know, like I, I went to, uh, I was at this deli in New York and they're, you know, checking the Vax card as they come in. I go, here is my yellow star. Can I come in and have matzo soup now? I mean, come on, just get on the rail car. We're just going to take a shower. Give me a break. <laughs> Not my cup of tea. Uh, anyway, I think you guys know how I feel. And listen, I had COVID. And, you know, Brent Fitz, who was supposed to play tonight, uh, our drummer, you know, he has COVID as well. Uh, or maybe he's just sick. I don't know if he has the COVID. But the thing about it is, you know, I don't want to get into it. I don't want to get into it. But, you know, just saying. Uh, I just wanted to check your comments, everybody. Okay, well, Wizard's probably out sailing his yacht or whatever he's doing right now. Thank you so much, Car Wizard. Little quick live broadcast. I'll try to do another one. You know, um, I, I've been busy 
as hell for the last week. Obviously, I mean, I haven't done any videos or anything because, you know, we had Christmas. I had to go back to Dallas. I'm trying to get my house ready to sell. I moved my mom here. She's here in Vegas. She's in the Elvis room. I'm setting her up her own apartment. Went to Ikea. just spent 2000 bucks at Ikea. And if you've ever been to Ikea, that's like a house full of furniture. <laughs> and so I've, I've been shopping for her and getting her all the stuff and uh, all this other stuff. Do I miss Duncanville? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, not at all. Um, I love Vegas. I'm glad to be here, but I'm gonna have to go back to Texas again. Um, I gotta get my mom's house rented out. We're gonna rent it out. Uh, might have my car sold or my uh, house sold. Um, we've been working on the ambulance. Um, definitely doing more ambulance stuff. I've been driving the ambulance around all day long because it's the biggest truck I have. It's full of IKEA furniture right now. It's pretty funny. All right, I got to get out of here because uh, I got to go get dressed. It's 7 o'clock. Uh, show is at 9.30. If you lived here in Vegas, come hang out at Vamped. If you can get a ticket, I'll be there. And uh, whatever. Ham and ham and ham and uh, You know, all that kind of stuff. And uh, this, that, and the other. And uh, whatever. Subscribe to Video Bob because I know where you live, bitch.